Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I want to show you how to make that little wrap there that you saw in the picture right here. Now mine is not humongous, but you can make yours as big as you want. And I still have some tails to sew in on it, but this is what the stitch looks like. It has a crisscross stitch there. It's not hard to do once you get the hang of it. It's mainly all triple crochets, pretty much. I think it kind of reminds me of lattice. It's pretty neat. <clears throat> Let me give you a quick measurement here on it. So you can determine how much yarn you might need. So from the top of one of the corners down to the bottom point. Measures. Um, just right at 40 inches. And then along the top here. From one side to the next here. So here we got. Measures 54 inches. So 54 across the top and then right at about 40 from the bottom up that point and 40 from the bottom up to this point. But believe me, you can just keep going. It's a very easy one row repeat. Now I got asked to show how I wrap the, the the cowl. You see in the picture, there's three different ways there that I have it shown. Now, for the one that I have wrapped like a cowl, yeah, I just take it and kind of grab it like this. I don't have a lot of room to show you here, but there's the point. I just kind of grab. Here's the ends. And line it up like this so the point is down the center of the front of your chest. Take it and just wrap it around like this. And then I use a shawl, shawl pin or a brush. Fill around with it a little bit. And just pin it down on one side or you can bring it all the way over. Pin it here. There's lots of ways you can wear uh, triangle shawls. So, I just wanted to show that real quick because someone asked me to show that. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, for this project, I am using Marifel Bella Cotton. It's a 100% Pima Cotton. Now, this is from Hobium. The color that I am using is called Cleopatra Beach. There are 92.95, so 93 yards in one of these balls. And for the size that I made, I went through four balls. So about 400 yards. It's not a lot actually for a shawl, but it is quite, it is a lacy shawl. So, but if you want to make yours bigger than mine, um, you will need more yarn than that. Um, it is a, a four weight yarn. Um, and I will put a link below in the description box to where you can get this yarn it's not an affiliated link i don't get no money if you buy it it's just i'll show you where you can get this yarn if you want to it's from hobium yarns it's really nice and it's really soft so i really like it so and then i'm going to be using a size j which is a six millimeter crochet hook and as always, I just want to take a second to ask you not to forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you look in the lower right hand corner of the screen, you'll see a little red subscribe button. If you're not subscribed yet, if you click on that, you'll automatically be subscribed. So you don't miss any of my videos. And also, if you enjoy this video, you like the way this shawl slash wrap slash cowl <laughs> looks, um, I'd appreciate a thumbs up if you would. Okay, so we're going to start off with a slip knot on our hook. And we're going to work a chain of three. Now we're going to slip stitch into the first chain to form a ring. Just like that. Now what we're doing is we're starting at the bottom point of the shawl and working our way out like that. So we're going to work, we're going to start off with a chain of four. Now that chain of four is going to count as a triple crochet. It's going to count as a triple crochet here and for the rest of the pattern. Now I'm going to go back into 
I'm going to work through the center of the ring there and I'm going to work a triple crochet. Like that. Now I'm going to chain two. I'm going to go back through the ring and I'm going to work two more triple crochets. There we go. So we got, counting this chain four as a triple, we got two triples, chain two, and two triples in the center of the ring. Now we're going to do that again. So I'm going to work two triples into the center of the ring again. A chain of two. And then I'm going to work two more triple crochets. like that and that'll end row one so you'll have eight double crochets or you'll have two sets of these kind of a double V stitches where you got two triple chain two and two triple so that'll end row one so row two we are going to turn our work we are not going to chain one. We're just going to turn without chaining. And now I'm going to slip stitch three times until I get to my first chain two space. So I'm going to slip stitch into this very first one and it's a little hard because you didn't chain one but chaining one, you don't want to chain one because it kind of pops out on the end and it just looks better if you don't chain one. And that's just my opinion. That. Slip stitch into the next stitch. And then we'll slip stitch one more time into the chain two space. Just like that. Now I'm going to chain four, which counts as our triple crochet. And now I'm going to work one of those V stitches again, like we did the two triples, chain two, two triples, right here in this chain two space. So this counts as our first triple crochet. So I'm going to go back in it again, and I'm going to put another triple crochet. chain two and now I'm going to work two more triples into the same chain space just like that now we're going to do a cross stitch triple crochet cross stitch so what we're going to do is we are going to skip one stitch and triple crochet into the next. So skip this one and in the next stitch go right into the top of it and triple crochet. Now we're going to go back and triple crochet into the stitch that we skipped but we're going to do it from the behind this stitch. So I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to yarn over twice like we're going to do our triple crochet. Instead of just going into the stitch, we're going to go from beh behind this triple crochet we just did and then go into it like that. Pull up your yarn and then you finish into your triple crochet. Now that might be a little tricky at first once you get the hang of it though, it's really easy to do. Now I'm going to do a cross triple crochet again right here in these next two stitches. So I'm going to skip one stitch and triple crochet into the next. Now I'm going to go back into the stitch that we skipped and triple crochet, but we're going to do it behind this triple crochet. So yarn over twice, go behind that triple crochet, and then go into the top of the stitch like that. It's easier if you hold that triple crochet, this triple crochet down with your thumb, and then you can go ahead and yarn over and draw up a loop and finish out your triple crochet. Just like that. And now we're here at our chain two space. And that's where we're gonna put that V stitch, right here in the chain two space. So we're gonna go ahead and work 
into the chain two space we're going to work two triple crochets chain of two and two more triple crochets just like that so that'll end row two and now it's kind of just a repeat of that row it just keeps getting larger each time so at the end of row two you're going to have two of these uh, triple crochet cross stitches and you'll have the two uh, v stitches here on each end you'll always have these two v stitches on each end that's what makes it grow so row three is kind of just a repeat of that row that we just did so for row three, I'm just going to turn my work without chaining one, and I'm going to slip stitch three times to my first chain two space. So right here into this very first one, next one, and then the chain two space, like that. And now I'm going to start off in this chain two space and work this V stitch. So we start by chaining four, which counts as a triple crochet. Then we work one more triple, so that'll be counting that chain four, that's two triples, chain two, and then two more triples into the same space, like that. So that's our V stitch there on the end. Now we're going to work our triple crochet cross stitches all the way across until we get to our chain two space here so we're going to skip this stitch and triple crochet into the next now we're going to go back into this stitch here that we skipped and triple crochet in it but we're going to go from behind this stitch so yarn over twice like we do for a triple Go behind that stitch and then from the front go into the top of the stitch it's always easier just to hold that triple crochet down there grab your yarn pull up the loop and then go ahead and finish out your triple crochet like that and there's your cross stitch again I'm going to do another triple crochet cross stitch skip this stitch triple crochet into the next go back to the stitch that we skipped triple crochet in it but we're going to go behind this triple crochet back to the front and then back into the top of the stitch hold that down draw up a loop and then go ahead and finish out your triple crochet like that again skip one stitch triple into the next I'm going to go back into the stitch that we skipped and triple crochet into it go behind this tri this triple crochet that and then do a triple crochet like I said it's a little tricky but you get the hang of it and then you'll just be flying by again skip this stitch triple crochet into the next and then we're going to triple crochet into the one that we skipped go behind that triple crochet back through like that hold that triple crochet down so it's not in your way draw up a loop and go ahead and do your triple crochet as usual there we go now I'm at my chain two space and that's where I'm going to do my uh, v-stitch so I'm going to put two triple crochets chain two 
two more triple crochets. Just like that. And now I have four of the triple crochet cross stitches and still two of these big V stitches on the end at the end of round three. So every, or end of row three, every row you'll have two more of the uh, cross stitches than you did the previous row. And you just keep repeating that. Once you get the hang of that triple crochet cross stitch, it's really easy. It's going to breeze by. It really don't take much time at all because you're working with these tall, tall triple crochet stitches. So it doesn't take a lot of time to, to finish this, you know. But that's what it starts to look like. So you just keep repeating um, uh, row two or row three or it's the same thing until you get to the desired length. Now, like I said in the beginning, I made mine isn't really huge. But you do yours as long as you want. If you want to wear it as a beach cover to fit around your waist, you just make it to where it ties around your waist. Uh, if you want to make it as a real huge shawl, by all means, you make it as big as you want. If you want to make it like a cow like I did, you might want to just stop with as many rows as I did. But I did a total of 27 rows for mine. 27. Now, if you want more, like I said, do as many as you want. But that's really all there is to it. It's really pretty easy once you get to going. Crossing them triple crochets isn't hard once you figure out how to hold, you know, how to do it. And you'll fly by. You'll have this done in no time. Looking good wearing it. So that said, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you look up in the screen, uh, top left-hand corner of the screen right now, you'll probably see a picture of my face. If you click on my face, remember, you'll be subscribed and you won't miss any of my tutor tutorials. Also, if you enjoyed this, uh, hopefully I uh, explained it well enough that you could do it. Uh, don't forget to give this video a like and a share. That really helps me out and it's really greatly appreciated. Thanks everybody for watching and have a good day.